district has imposed new security measures for people attending school board meetings. Everybody now has to go through a metal detector after several of those meetings got pretty heated. But News Edge reporter Brian Hill spoke with some parents who are not on board with those changes. All of the parents I spoke with say the metal detectors and other security measures are absurd and unnecessary, and they believe it pushes a false narrative that they're dangerous. Several uniformed officers greeted parents at these two metal detectors once inside Gwinnett County Public Schools headquarters Thursday night. Their bags searched as they passed through. I think it, it sends a message that they are losing control. The board is losing control and they're trying to double down and scare the parents. And they're trying to paint the picture that parents are terrorists. We're not. We just want the best for the children. Since May, the district tells us they've implemented a number of additional safety measures during these meetings, including increasing the number of school resource officers here and having additional staff monitoring the room. These measures come following protests outside their headquarters and heated public meetings, often related to the mask debate. The district says they're committed to ensuring the safety and well-being of everyone who attends. Our schools and our children, um, they should have this type of security. During the meeting, staff handed out their new expected behavior and decorum guidelines of visitors. It states that people are not allowed to bring posters or signs or disrupt a speaker. They must be civilized and masks are required. There has been no violence. Two people were taken away in handcuffs Thursday. School officials say a woman is charged with violating a criminal trespassing order. Another is charged with obstruction of a police officer. The district says if anyone continues to be disruptive, they will be removed and could face criminal charges. But parents banned from attending Thursday over not wearing a mask aren't backing down from what they believe is right. I definitely will come back and I will not wear a mask again. Hopefully they, they get the message and they change the protocol. And when at County Brian Hill, Fox 5 News.